Let's see, we've all survived um, concavity, and convexivity, and points of inflection and stuff like that. So let's go on to something which is potentially a little bit easier, although it looks a little bit harder to start with. So remember from the chain rule, right, the, kind of these dx's essentially are there, it's like they cancel out, isn't it? Uh, they don't, but it's like they do. Right, so we need these equations to help us. So we know that the area of a circle is pi r squared, that's a good one to do. We know the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. Now think about that, v equals pi r squared h. I've got three different bits that can move, but when I differentiate, I can only deal with two letters. So this is where this chain rule is going to help me, because I can mess around with the letters and make it all work fine. There. Right, so the volume of a cone, let's have a look, volume of a cone, one third pi r squared h. The curved surface area of a, of a cone is pi r l, where l is your slant height. Do you remember this from GCSE? I remember teaching this on higher tier GCSE. Uh, surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. Again, h's look like h's. And the volume of the uh, sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And I do like the fact that if you differentiate the volume of a sphere, you get the surface area. That's quite nice, that. Right, let's have a look at this. So it says a circular puddle is being fed by an overflowing drain. The radius is increasing at a rate of three centimeters per minute. Right, this is very definitely one of these where you write down what have you got. What do you need? You think about. And then how do you get there? circular. The radius is increasing. So that is implying a rate of change and so is that. If it's a rate of change, it's a differentiation. It's a differential. So this is saying dr by something. Look at the unit. It's centimetres per minute. So it must be time. So it's dr by dt. And it's getting bigger, so it's three. So this is what I've got. Oh, I've got a virus protection flash up. That's not what I've got. There. So I've got dr by dt. It wants to know, uh, so what do I need? I need the rate of change of area. Right, now this is a little bit vague in the fact that it doesn't say with respect to something. And if it doesn't, if it's a little bit vague, then I take it as time. So what I want is dA by dt when r is 15 centimetres. That's what I want. Right, so we're chain ruling, aren't we? That's what we're doing. We're looking at splitting up some form of equation. Now I've got dr by dt. So if I split the dA up and the dt up, from the information in the question, the bit that's missing must be dr. Do you see that? So because that's dr by dt, that's going there. And I've split up the dA by dt. So it's essentially the DRs have disappeared. Right. Okay. So DR by DT I'm okay with. What I need to find now is DA oops, by DR. So remember what the equation is. It's got to be an A with an equals and R's on the right. It's a circular puddle. So using that information, I must be using A 
equals pi r squared. So dA by dr is 2 pi r there. Now it's up to you, because the question says uh, r is 15, it's up to you if you stick the 15 in there now or later. I'm going to stick it in now. So I want it when r is 15. But well, you can do it at the end, the completing factor is it at the end. So dA by dR, evaluated when r is 15, is 2 pi, lots of 15, it's 30 pi, right? Okay, so let's go up here then. I've now got my dA by dR, and I've got my dR by dT. So dA by dT, the rate of change in area, is dA by dR, the rate of change in area, with respect to the radius, so my area gets bigger because my radius is getting bigger, times by dr by dt, the rate of change in radius with respect to time. So over time, my radius gets bigger. So dA by dt is 30 pi times by, now it said dr by dt was 3, did it? Yeah. 3. So dA by dt is 90 pi there. And I'm going to leave it as 90 pi. Now think about your units. The area was in centimetres, sorry, the radius was in centimetres. So it must be centimetres squared for area. And then what was the time? That's per minute, isn't it? So it's centimetres squared per minute there. It's easier if it's in seconds, because you don't mind doing S to the minus 1, whereas min to the minus 1 makes you feel a bit funny. There. there we go. Cool. The pack, um, does it does it as like it changes a 90 pi into a number? Well, that's fine for us. Right, let's have a go at example two then. Flying through these. So what we've got, so ink is dropped on blotting paper, circular stain. Do you know what I might do? Because um, we're on seven and a half minutes here. We've got quite a few examples to do. So I'm tempted just to stop it and start it again, so you know you've got definite. Um, so I'm not kind of rushing. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to stop it and start it again. <laughs>